What's up guys and welcome back for another EVE Online video. Um, basically, uh, this is just a quick one, uh, cutting together, well it's actually not that quick I don't think, but um, I've just uh, gathered some footage from our Wormhole Eviction, uh, just following on from the video a couple of days ago. Uh, pretty explosions and the like, so uh, yeah, just I cut a little something together. If you want to stick around and watch it, it's a pretty nice like show. Um, and if not, uh, then check my video out on Sunday. We'll try and get an update going. Um, basically, the the comms is just me trying to sound upbeat about the whole thing. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoy. Um, uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy the video, and I'll see you in the next one on Sunday. Cheers, guys. So, here's our... Here's our first structure in Hull Timer. Just come out. It's now repairing, being attacked. The Astros. Here's their fleet again. And here come some fighters. Let's uh, go in close to their fleet. See how the fighters get on, what the fighters look like. There they are. We flicked back to my ship for some reason. Probably that fighter died. So let's look at let's see what we got going on. A bunch of drones been launched. Let me pull this out and expand. So you can see the fleet. see some of the weapon systems coming from the Astros. They're not going to be doing much against these guys, but might as well use them. Has it gone? Yep. One, two, three, four. A lot. Again, mostly Dracovax like the first time around. The Triglavian fleets are so effective at bashing because there's Incredibly high DPS on single target. I'm just as as you saw, I'm uh, cloaked up outside, just watching the light show basically at the moment. <laughs> Marco Robbie, who knew that Marco Robbie would be attacking our structure?
jump some more missiles. I think there's a new running from up there. I'm not sure what that one is, maybe a web or a scram. So I'm just going to sit watching, um, if anything interesting happens, obviously I'll, uh, I'll um, include it in the video, but um, otherwise I'll skip forward to the pretty explosion at the end. See you in a sec. Very nearly explosion time. A few more of them have dropped on grid. Probably just get a couple shots off so they're on the kill mail. Here they come, look, a few more. And we're nearly there. The end of the Astros. Clear the screen. We can see the blob. We can see shots going from drones, probably. There's a missile. Or a ship. Not sure. Another one. And here comes the explosion. That's pretty nice. And look at all those containers. to go to check them all out. Well, that was fun. And so, uh, again, if you're not aware, anything that was in a hangar in the corp, in the, in the corp, in the uh, structure, drops in its own. Great, so each, each one of these is a hangar and will contain everything that's in that hangar. Um, so it takes a while, and they're spread out, they're really far apart. So, like that, that'll be like a good 200 to 300 kilometers, so you have to walk between them. And that's what they're doing now. So that's the Astros. Maybe we'll be back on in a few hours for the fort. Catch you guys in a bit. And now the Athenor. So while they've got a few of them 
but a lot of them scrambling around the wrecks of the Astrahus. There's just a few of them over on the Athenor, but they're still making short work of it. There's, um, it's got quite a bit less health. Um, attributes, what do we got? Structure just four, four thousand, four million eight hundred, so much less. So this won't take very long, and there's so, so few of them. Again, it's a pretty thing. But yeah, you can see the fleet this time, way smaller. Bombs from the uh, from the Athenor making this particular light show. Start bringing the explosion for this. Here comes the bomb, look, actually. Here comes the blob. Should be a nice explosion. Boom. But not much effect. Like, it won't be scratching the armour. They've got their lodgy up here. There's armour somewhere. And obviously, they can. Drekovacs can all have remote reps on them as well. So I'll bring you the uh, explosion from this in just a few minutes. We're already halfway through. What do you think's the best lighting with this, with the sun, or this side? Probably this side, right? All right, let's get rid of the fluff for explosion number two. The Athenor. As I say, it really didn't take very long. Like this one. For a few trick ships, four and a half million HP does not take long at all. I like this angle. Let's start from here. going out. It's pretty cool. All the lights. Here we go now, any second, come on. far longer than I was expecting and they stopped firing. Can't see any red so possibly let's uh Oh they're inviting the rest of them in to get on the kill mount. Oh. 
be moved. Oh, we're going to have to watch this one from a distance. It's unfortunate, but this is what it looks like from afar. second that's bright yeah that looks good I do like the explosions in Eve good stuff you can see all the wreckage flying out at some at some point the athanol will uh, disappear become a wreck Zoom out. Not so many containers from this one. So, two down, a third one's in a few hours. I'll, uh, I'll come back on and film the, the big one. Cheers, guys. And so it begins. The final bash. Starting in one and a half, but they've all turned up. They're all here. Let's zoom in. Have a look our Fortizar before it goes kaboom. Uh, what's the best shot for a thumbnail, do we reckon? Something like that. Well, let me in any closer. Let's go Okay, something like that. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and there it goes. How long? Twenty-eight, fifty-seven. How long are they going to leave it for? Forty cents. Still haven't attacked it yet. Obviously, they're going to. No point getting excited about them not. There we go. Now they're attacking it. Obviously with the two structures going down beforehand, they're very confident that they're not going to meet any resistance. So this actually isn't as strong as the first fleet. Um, but there are a lot more on the scan, as you can see. There's a lot of them still in here. We do have someone manning the guns, so you never know, we might take one of them out or something. But it adds to the light show that we can watch. Oh, maybe we'll go for this as the with the extra light show. I press the wrong key. something like that. Out come the, the fighter. Probably not going to achieve a tremendous amount, but can but try. Isn't it? There goes a guided bomb. There'll be some heavy missiles flying out there. We'll just have a quick close-up of their fleet. 
some explosions. There you go, more of them are warping in now. Gotta get on that kill mail. Another one, another one. Guided bomb. Did you get an explosion? There it is. It's a bit brighter than I was expecting. But as I say, guys, while we're, while we're here and we're watching the last structure go, as I said in the last video, like this is just part and parcel of Eve. Um, there's no point beating ourselves up or getting upset or anything. Um, it's just all a learning experience, right? We clearly weren't ready for the for um, to to resist something like this. So therefore, we probably weren't ready to live in a wormhole. Um, they're called skins. Um, that being said, you know you don't you don't necessarily find that out until you try. Um, we were fully aware of the risks, so anything any isk lost is you know is essentially expendable isk, and uh, we don't care is the wrong word, but you know it's it's just some in-game space monies that we can replenish um, with a little bit of work so no no big deal um, we're obviously sad to be losing the hole uh, like we've enjoyed a good few months in here um, with the wormhole life like, been like we had plans where we were going to go and stuff that we now have to rethink uh, but that's all good um, as I say part and parcel of Eve and we're not uh, there's no point in being sad, and I'll tell you what, I have learned so much about the game in the last couple of days. Um, just loads of little things. Uh, so I've actually been in a fortunate position that I've been, I've been kind of chatting a little bit to one of the invaders just about the mechanics of their invasion and things, and trying to get some tips and hints. And he was being, he's been quite open about the whole thing. Um, so I've, I've learned a lot about wormhole mechanics and fleet mechanics and structure mechanics and things uh, that if the if the time comes up in future we can we can t uh, we can talk about it. But um, but yeah, next step will be to take a step back, regroup, um, work out work out and plan what we're going to do next as a group, as a corporation. Um, chat to everyone, get everyone's opinions, work out what we're going to do, and then do it and execute and go from there. Um, so yeah, as I say, no point moping about. We'll be cracking on after this. Um, but in the meantime, we can just watch the light show. I'll just um, drop the window again and we can just watch quietly for a minute or two. Um, and then I'll... Um, Oh, that maybe that one's even better. Print screen. Nope, not that one. And then we, um, yeah, as I say, we'll watch watch for a couple of minutes uh, now, like this, and then we'll skip through to the to the good bit, to the explosion. Um, I'll let you know if our structure manages to kill anything, but it's a really well formed fleet. Um, uh, you know, our, our Astrohurst took down two frigates, <laughs> um, so one bomber and one something else, not sure. But the Drekovacs and the Lodgy and stuff, they're all untouchable um, at the moment with, our, with what we've got. join me as we are very nearly there. 
the structure couldn't take anything out. Um, they're looking for us watching. We're all cloaked, I think. But there's a few of us out watching at the moment because obviously we want to wave goodbye to the Fortisar. Let's go. long now, any second. We'll see that red line disappear and it'll be ready to blow. There we go. That sound is the notification that saying it's been destroyed. Uh, be careful of your eyes, this is going to be very bright. There we go. J222 Just like that There they all go Is there much to loot? Quite a lot They spread so far Like if I go in close see like one crate up there another here another here like that's how far apart they are right like it looks like they're not too bad because I'm zoomed so far out but they're really far apart anyway cool that's the end of that thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the light display um, and watch this space to find out what we're doing next I guess I'll um, I'll try and obviously I'll try and keep up with the regular videos I should put one out on Sunday still um, at least that's the plan as it stands so uh, watch this space and uh, we'll try and keep you updated with what we're thinking next thanks for watching guys see you next time